everyone welcome back to my channel my name's Amy Lou it is Easter next weekend which has really crept up on me um I thought that Easter was like middle to the end of April and I I think even that's wrong in my mind but but the fact that it's like the end of March it's come from nowhere but anyway Easter next weekend um I've done a little bit of shopping so I thought I'd just show you the bits that I got um I'm probably quite annoying when I do these hauls because I show all this stuff and then it's not necessarily in the shops and that's because um I tend to buy stuff a year in advance I find it so handy to do that stuff um especially when you've got people to buy for that you don't do like oh you want a specific present I'll get you this so for Easter and for some of the kids for Christmas I'll just get them like little bits and bobs that I don't need to get them particularly anything they've chosen it's so handy to buy in advance especially because like the girls on their own like the mortgage the bills is all ridiculous at the minute so I'm really trying to be smarter with my money because historically I'm really bad with money so I'm trying to make better decisions um so a lot of this stuff I got last year and actually a lot of this stuff that I got was from Dunelm and the Dunelm sale I always find it so so good I have to say I never used to look that much in Dunelm but I think that's because I was looking at homeware stuff um which now I'm starting to really like in Dunelm. But um, the Christmas, Halloween, Easter stuff has always been 50% off or more in their sales, which I think it, obviously is just so good. It's been really handy, especially because their stuff isn't too pricey to begin with. So let me show you the bits that I got last year. And what I thought I'll do is I'll go online on Dunelm. I did have a little look this morning. Um, and if I can find stuff that's similar, I'll link it down below just so that you can you know check things out that are similar if you want to and even if you want to have them in mind for um buying in advance for next year and trying to get them in the cell um it's so useful honestly I'm, i find it so so good so a couple of smaller bits i got one is this little cookie cutter set a bunny a flower and a little carrot really really so sweet for anyone that you know that's like likes to do a little bit of bakery um i have to say i didn't keep the the price on this one but i think it, i imagine it would have been something like four pound originally and then went down to two pound i think that's what it would have been and then similar to that they had a little set that had a single little cookie cutter in there with like a little baking spatula in like this really lovely lilac color and i thought how nice is a little gift just for like little nieces and nephews um a little cutie one like that again annoyingly i feel like i always do this i'm like this is this but i can't remember the price and i didn't leave the price on there um i imagine this would have been something you know about three pounds um and 50 percent off of that so that one's really cute as well these are really lovely these little plates that they did they were five pound and went down to two pound fifty. Kept the labels like the price tags on these ones so I could remember. So you've got a little chick, and what I'm going to do when I put these together, I'm going to do them for like the kids so they can have a little plate to use for Easter. And I was just going to get them some chocolatey bits, put their chocolatey bits together with in here. And then I've got that. Is it called? Um, I don't know if it's called raffia. You know, like the hay stuff, which really hurts my eyes, by the way. It really irritates my eyes. But I think I'll just do them in little bundles with their little sweet treats. So they had um, the little chick version, and I love this one, the little carrot version. Again, that was five pound and went down to two pound fifty. And they're quite a decent size, you know, like it's that compared to my hand. I love those. And again, how neatly if you got, I did get some Easter like lollipops. I thought they'd work really nice in there. So that's those ones. Um, oh, this, <laughs> this is for my little knees. This little lovely bunny cushion. Oh my God, with these big floppy ears. <gasps> It's really, really lovely. It's so, so soft. And I love the colourful little ears. This was, was it uh, £14? And it went down to £7 in the cell, which I just thought is so, so lovely. And it's also something a little bit different to just getting them 
chocolatey bits or you know those sorts of bits all the times um because they get so much of that you know so i'm trying to choose like different stuff oh literally so sweet i love that um and then for the more adult bits in dunham honestly i thought these prices were so good so this is a three tier cake stand. I'll bring it really close so you can see the pattern. And actually it's really cute because the pattern that I just showed on the inside of those bunny ears, that matches this, this matches some of the other um, like tablecloths and that, like not tablecloths, sorry, I think they were table runners that they had in there. So it was so nice that the whole theme matched. Um, and I have to say, I don't know if it's just me, but I've not seen, I don't know if I'm too late, I've not seen that Dunelm have got as much easter stuff this year as they did last year but i don't know again i might be too late in the day to have looked but this three tier really heavy china cake stand is absolutely lovely was 12 pounds and was now six pound so this is what's so good because i would buy this for like a a whole household if you know what i mean if it's mum dad three kids say um and then that's a present for the whole household sorry i'm just putting this stuff down here while i go along um yeah a present for the whole household for sort of six pound which i think is just brilliant and to be honest it's just one need right now um then for my auntie and my cousin oh i hope they won't watch this no i don't think they will so i'm not doing any spoilers oh are these really lovely ah! i'm such a sucker for a teapot for one i just love them little teapot for one again in like the pattern that matches all the other bits that i've shown oh my god they're lovely and my cousin and my nan are both single ladies so i thought for the single ladies i've got them these teapots for one this was 10 pound and went down to five so so nice i love that and then what i've done is with the sweet treat stuff i've just got them you know like a little mr kipling pack just to put like a little sweet treat with those and then they had again in dunelm and again it matches everything else in dunelm these set of three tins that go smaller in size as you can see on this picture um and again they were 12 pound and went down to 650 in the cell and what i thought was good about those obviously you've got the bunny one but then i think yeah, the second, like the medium size one, is just the florally pattern. So you could use that year round. Same as the top one. It's just like a, a light yellow, light mustard colour checked one. So you can use that year round as well. Really sweet. And I thought, again, I'll get that for one of my cousins that's got like mum, dad, three kids. So that's more of like a family present. Um, and then these are just little decoration bits that I got again in Dunelm last year. So a little resin decoration, like a little carrot. I thought that was really sweet. Um, was two fifty, and that went down to one twenty five. I just thought that was sweet as like a little um, what do you call it? Not gimmick, you know, like just a little decoration thing to like wrap the kids stuff in. So they were really nice. I did get some felt eggs. Uh, I did put it on here somewhere. I don't know where it's rolled off to, but they had really nice like little um, hanging egg decorations that were either beaded with little sequins that were really lovely, or they had ones that were felt and then had little daisies on them. Um, I think they were like pink and purple daisies, so they were really cute as well. And those things were probably like a pound one twenty five each for those. Um, oh, one more thing from Dunelm. These are so lovely as well. These are little napkin um, rings and like little bunny ears. Look at those. So, so lovely. So they sell them in packs of two. And what I quite like about these is that they're like the neutral tones. You know, like I have to say for my place, I'm really trying to go, you know, like the, not the so bright and colourful. I'm trying to have more neutral, bronzy sort of tones. So I thought these worked really, really well. And... I'm going to say the same thing. I haven't got the price for these. I haven't got the price for these. I'm going to check if they did them again. I imagine they do. But I imagine they might have been £4 and down to £2. I love that I'm just making prices up. So sorry. Worst worst videos ever. But hey, we move. 
um right i think that was all i got last year in advance lying already i got these as well these little bunny signs which i have seen in there this year as well actually so these were two pounds and went down to one pound and they've got little bunny tails on them so, yeah, I think if you're trying to be a little bit smarter and trying to, like, money-wise and trying to plan ahead, I think Dunelm is a really, really good place to go. Because, as well, I always feel like Dunelm do have a decent amount left over. Like, when I go in, like, B&M and places like that, I feel like they've got nothing. Like, their stuff goes a lot and so quickly. Whereas with Dunelm, I've been quite lucky that when I've gone into the big ones, like, even, like, the more flagship ones where you think they'd sell out quicker, um, like, I go to the one in lakeside mainly they still have stuff left so i've been really successful in Dunelm, thankfully uh let's move on to the bits that i got this year so a lot of this stuff obviously i had a load of stuff already and then, then i just got like little odd bits to um finish off so a lot of this stuff that I got was in Home Bargains. And as well, I love Home Bargains. I That was never on my radar until a couple of years ago. And it's so, so good in there. Um, particularly Christmas, Halloween. It, well, mind you, they're all, they're all the occasions really, aren't they? But um, really nice. Really such good prices in there. Absolutely brilliant. And their stuff looks really nice as well. Like, you can dress it up so, so nicely. So I was really pleased with what I found in there. So they had these large gift bags. They're 79p. And it's like, this is all foiled. It's sparkly. I'm so annoyed at myself. I put bits in it and then it made it all crease. I was like, damn it. So it's my own fault. But I'm like, sorry to be mean to Clinton's. But I think if you went into Clinton's and bought a bag that was that size, let's be honest, you'd pay like 4 four fifty for that if not more, 79p in Home Bargains, really brilliant, so that's more of what I would say is like the adult kind of one, and then I've got ones that I would use for the kids bits, again 79p, but like a bit more pastel colours, again that's the size, oh so bloody good in there, that is brilliant, and then they had, I think they had really small size bags as well um and then this was the medium size and they were 59p little little cheeky so so handy uh oh sorry i'm i'm going back to dunelm now these were dunelm uh last year they were 250 for four bags and they'd gone down to 125 with a little chick and a little bee Oh, fabulous. So pleased with those. And then I think this was in Home Bargains as well. Just a little bit of, um, uh, what do you call it? Crepe paper, tissue, pa tissue paper with um, little chicks on there. Love them. And then, is anyone else? I'm so guilty of this. Like, just so not a grown up where, like, I know the grown ups really <laughs> appreciate a nice card. And I'm just like, oh the cards it's a drag and like obviously i wish you a happy easter you know but to, i thought i might even if i don't use these as actual cards that i put in the envelope i might cut them and make them into tags and just hang the tags on the bits um so i can write a tag out i thought that would be a good idea so this was in these are in home bargains the other day you get 10 cards for 99p and you've got two designs so five of each design really so sweet like honestly when i find these bits now when i think what i've done before and i've gone and bought all these individual cards that have cost so much and all these individual bits that have cost so so much like i'm so i feel proud of myself i know it sounds so silly but i've just been so reckless with money in the past and i've really learned that lesson and i'm really trying to be more responsible and well i don't know if i'm ever responsible but you know just like a little bit more savvy just trying to be a little more mindful i suppose of what i'm spending out and how much i'm giving as well like everyone gets so much now you don't need to buy a million things you know what i mean like just a little gesture thing is just lovely enough um sorry a little tangent there so they were those bits <laughs> got this from my dad because he loves does anyone else remember 
not the blimmin' new age, like, stockings that the kids have now, um, but, like, the old-fashioned chocolate stockings that used to come in, like, the knitted bag. Oh, I used to love those. I, I don't know why. They were just, they were so special to me. And then when they did the cardboard ones that they do now, I'm like, oh, it's not the same. So and my dad loves a selection stocking. It's so funny. And obviously, he wants the traditional ones. You can't get those anymore. But I saw this and I thought, oh, it reminded me of those selection stockings. I'm going to get one for my dad. So this was, I think it was four ninety nine. The reason I keep saying I think is because the guy that served me, bless him, he said to me, do you want the receipt? And I was like, yes, definitely, so I can remember the prices. Um, and the receipt printed. But you know when it's running out of ink? And it didn't print, like, the two digits that I'd need to see all the prices. And I was like, fabulous. So I think that was four ninety nine, and I didn't realise I'm such an idiot. I didn't realise what this story says. So it says we thought we wanted to buy you, and and that's got plane there. And I was like, that doesn't make sense. I realised it was aeroplane to fly you up to Mars to go around the <laughs> Milky Way. Uh, instead, we got you this to crunch your way through a happy Easter. I thought that's actually so cute. So that's for daddy mm. Yeah, four ninety nine for that one, I think. These, I want, oh, honestly, I want for myself. Sorry, but how cute. <laughs> Am I being ridiculous? How cute are these? They're huge as well. They're really, well, not huge, but that's the size compared to my hands. These little flask, which I thought would be so nice if you've got little nieces and nephews and you want to get them something different, you know. They've got a pink uh, sticker, like a little pink transfer that says smile. I'll be totally honest, I could do without the smile thing. It sounds bad. I, I just think it doesn't need to be on there. And because they're all pink, you know, like boys will probably go, yeah. But, oh, they're so lovely. And they were 2 99 each. I couldn't resist those. Oh. Love them. And then for my little, because for my little niece, I'm going to give her the bunny cushion. For my little nephew, <laughs> again, it's something just a little bit different to give him. I've got him these bunny slippers and they're so cute. Oh my God, I absolutely love them. I mean, he's only five, four and a half. I've got no idea what size seven, eight means. Sorry, not got a clue. So, uh, but because I did think, in case they're a bit big, they're really padded inside. So hopefully they'll. Oh God, I hope it, I don't I haven't created a blimmin' full like risk for him. But they are oh, they're so lovely. So they were in home bargains and they were four pound. Ah, oh, they're the cutest little pretty. And then let me just sorry sorry for the view. Do you know I really tried to do the old like the aesthetic like clean girl like athleisure wear. So I put all of this on, like put my hair back, put all of this on, put the top on without looking in the mirror because, you know, it's frightening. I don't like looking in the mirror. And I looked at myself in the video and I was like, Christ, I look like a football hooligan. But anyway, I'm just going to, it is what it is. So I'm sorry for the view. So just the little sweet treats that I got. I just got the little Mr. Kipping things just because I thought there's something different other than chocolate, do you know what I mean? And to be honest, I'd quite like to get savoury stuff. Um, but there's just not a lot of savoury stuff around for Easter. I know one of the supermarkets, I think Tesco do these little bunny-shaped crisps now. Um, but like, you know, a packet of crisps for people for Easter. And I know that they do bunny-shaped uh, crumpets now, don't they? But if I, I'm going out a uh, Good Friday, if I thought I had enough time to bake some savoury stuff, I might have done that, but I'm not going to have time. But it's just a shame that they don't do more savoury Easter bits, because you know when you get a little bit, uh, you get a little bit fed up with sweet stuff. Um, what I've done before, actually, that was quite good, I bought people um, things that they could have a nice sort of springtime breakfast. So like, scones and jam and like a bottle of like Kia Royale um things like that and I, I know it's still like sweet stuff but at least it's something a little bit different to chocolate so that's been a really nice idea that I've just put in like a little basket before um yeah just such a shame that it's all just sweet all the time so just a little Mr Kipling lemon whirls 
God, I'm trying not to eat all of these. I'm actually, as soon as I do this, I'm wrapping them all up so I can't blame in, eat them all for myself. You know, the little Battenberg things? Love those. So with like the, the tins and the little teacups for one and stuff like that, I'm just going to pair them with like these little Mr. Kipping sweet treats. Um, the kids love these little Mr. Kipling sponge cakes. So I've got some of those. And then they had these lovely little, these were from home bargains as well a little biscuit um first of all I thought they were gingerbreads and i was like oh i'm not sure the kids like gingerbread but actually i think it's just a normal shortbread biscuit just with a little bit of icing on them i thought they were lovely um so they had the chick design that i would use for the girls and it's a shame because they had a bunny rabbit design as well that i would have got for the boys but they were all they were crushed the ones that were the rabbit ones um in the home bargains that i went in so that was a shame those and just some uh little chocolate lollies that i'll just use to sort of like put in bits and you know like to put with like the bundle of little bits that i'm putting in these cups um another thing they do in home bargains i didn't get these are from last year they're empty but they do do these little tins and I think I'm pretty sure that I've grabbed these in the cell before. And I think that's why they're empty. I think I grabbed them in the cell last year. And then you can just get some little chocolates and refill them with fresh chocolate. So I think they're really handy. Um, so that's those. What was, I think I've got one more thing to show you. Which was B&M, which I haven't been in this year actually. My car's been on the blink, so I've not really... Uh, Friday was the first time I was able to go to the shop, so I just thought I'm going to do one shop and then that's going to be it. Um, I got these last year in uh, B&M, and they're lovely. I, I mean, obviously they're not just Easter. I think they do them year round. I'm pretty sure when I saw these, they were £4 and they were just happened to be... Uh, you know like the special price thing that they do they just happen to be two pound i love those i did them um as my uh easter prezzies last year um and i just put two chocolate eggs in these so they're like a little board that you can put um you know like dipping eggs I, I think they're called a lot of people call them egg and soldiers but we always used to call them dipping eggs so you put your eggs in there and then you put like your little soldiers your like your little slices of toast there so and they've got good morning on there what a lovely present like a wooden board for like a couple of quid um i'm trying to think you know what i'll stop filming this and then i'll realize what else i was gonna show you but yeah that's everything so i'm gonna get these bits wrapped up if i can if i can figure out how to do it because i've got no idea how to properly edit videos as you will see from this video if i can figure out how to do it <laughs> i'll either do it as the thumbnail or i'll put it in the video God, I've put these earrings in there really itchy um of like how I wrap everything up um but yeah that's my little shopping not so much a haul but a delve I like to call them a delve into what I've already got um definitely get amongst it with the sale particularly in Dunelm and get yourself some bargains for next year thank you so much for staying with me waffling away um and have a lovely weekend and I'll speak to you soon bye